how to choose a good jackfruit. Right here at HEB, they're $1.25 a pound. You want to make sure they're soft and brown. You want to make sure they're soft and brown, says the husband. The darker the better. The darker the better. The darker the berry, the sweeter the juice. Soft and mushy it is. Soft and mushy. And brown compared to this color. And brown compared to this lime green one. So that's what you want to get. Mm -hmm. Soft, mushy, and brown. Dollar twenty-five pounds. Are we ready to go, husband? Did we get what we needed? Yeah, we're done. We're done. Show us how to cut a jackfruit. What type of knife is the best knife to use? I use what I have, which is one of these. What is that? Just a suede Forever blade. sharp. Yeah, See how quickly that knife mm, cut into there? Smell it. Mm-hmm. Bubblegum. Yeah, that's a ripe one. What I do is I cut it in half again. I just wanted to taste it. And it's very sticky. That's really good, fine. It's literally like if you're eating candy. It smells like roses. Roses? The I see bubblegum. The aroma? See how wet it is? That's the stickiness of it. It's like glue. Time consuming too. Mm hmm. Time consuming. And the seeds. There's a seed in it. You can also save the seeds and boil them and roast them or roast them. Let's get a close up. Mm, look how pretty that is. It gets a lot riper than that, too. Mm -hmm. This is semi ripe, but it's mm -hmm. still really good and really sweet. Anything you want to add? No, I'm not too good at cutting this, but no, you did good. in time, I get better. You did good. We'll call this one it's very How to Extract Jackfruit from No. How to Extract Jack Pods. It's very time consuming. Well, what do you call it? I'm playing with the jackfruit. Jacking around with the jackfruit. <laughs> well, what are you doing exactly? I'm taking off all the unedibles and I'm saving the edibles. Show us the unedible. And these are all the unedibles. 
And to me, they smell like a nice flowery garden. You actually can put this in a glass jar and leave them in your living room. I mean, it's make your living oh room God, smell like flowers. Oh my God, it smells so good. Mm -mm. And the seeds, you can actually let them dry out and boil them or let them dry out and roast them. Roast them. Eat them like How peanuts. How are you going to cook them today? Those are the seeds right there. And the jack Show us the seed that you have to get the pot of. There's one seed right there that you got to go. Which one? Right there. This one? Yeah, where you got to take out the outside layer. The foreskin comes right out. And the jackfruit has a lot of health benefits. You eat it on a regular basis, you can be cancer free. And it's gonna keep you regular. And it has a lot of protein, just like meat does. And How does it feel in your hand? Since it's kind of ripe, it's not too gooey. Not but too sticky? It's sticky. It's sticky, but not to an annoying point. The one that I cut last week was really sticky. A lot of folks, they'll use... Like my hand was full of those fibers. Mm. A lot of folks, they'll use oil on a regular knife, but if you get a serrated, Rated. sharp teeth knife, it'll do the job. A good serrated knife. And this is a forever sharp knife. I don't want oil on my knife. Yeah, you don't need oil if you have a good I sharp do. I do everything old school Good style. Good quality serrated knife. Not good. It tastes good, but you can't eat that. No, you can't eat the fibers. Show us what you can't eat. You can't eat all these little mm -hmm. fibers and stuff. They're inedible. I mean, maybe you could if you're starving. Mm-hmm. If you're all naked and afraid. But that would probably be good some for your health. Look what we got going. That's all the deliciousness. We actually picked up three. There you go, slicing into the next one. They were about ten dollars each, so thirty dollars. What I do is I slice it right in the middle of the each pod. Why is well, that? Well I'm just trying different things. Well, first of all, when you put it, when you take it apart, it's easier. It's like right here. You can slice this part off. Like and you also have here. a paper bag for an easy cleanup, huh? Yep. Very time consuming. I think I'm only going to do one. Let those ripen, ripen a little more. bit. This one must have a seed in it, I think. Yep. Oh, a flat one. Look at that. Never seen a flat seed before. Hmm. Once you have one, you can't stop. You just want another one. That's how these fruits are. And you gotta make sure they're ripe. So if you never had a jackfruit, this is what a jackfruit is. They call it the jack of all fruits. Because of its many health benefits. I'm gonna get every good bit of it. You don't wanna waste it because it's kind of expensive. $1.25 So we got about uh, $30 <coughs> worth of jackfruit. That's fruit. the cheapest we've this ever is $30 found. $30 worth of jackfruit. And it's the cheapest we've ever found. If you go to Asian stores, they're like 
two or three dollars a pound. Right, they're more expensive at the Asian markets. They poke your eyes out, so go to HEB or your local market. Hopefully the local market will have some. And it? these, these um, jackfruits, they're from Mexico. Right. See right here? These are from Mexico. Product of Mexico. From C Car Farms. But they're originated in Southeast Asia. And it says, what does it say? It's all about fresh produce. It's all about fresh product. Wait, what does the number three stand for? Three, four, five, four. These are not GMO, are they? You're gonna have to research that later. Hopefully they're not GMO. Because if they're GMO, that's no-no. Anything else? This video is already seven minutes. Should I continue? No, cut it. Cut it. Cut it.